Hey everyone, it's Amanda from Queen of Hearts Photography and Photoshop Actions and today I have a new tutorial for you. And today's tutorial is totally for fun, it doesn't involve any actions. And I'm doing it because I got a question uh, when using the snowflake overlay how you can make your photo look more wintry. So if you have a photo like this and you want to make it look more of a winter scene, I'm going to show you how to do that in just a few steps. It's so easy and I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first thing you want to do is convert your photo to black and white. Now I recommend definitely using the black and white layer adjustment because we need these colors here. You need to uh, lighten up the photo, mostly in the greens and yellows, but for this photo it was warm, so it's, mine's mostly going to be red and yellow. As you can see, I don't have much green except right there at the bottom. There wasn't really any green because this was shot, what, last couple of weeks ago, I think, and everything's dead here. So it's mostly just warmth. From my white balance. So as you can see when you bring up your yellows, you can see how it whitens it. So I'm going to bring up our yellows and I'm going to bring up my reds just a tad because you can see how much red is in my photo. Now unfortunately my boys are wearing a lot of red and orange so I'm going to have to mask it off of them and most likely you're going to have to do some masking too. Probably not as much as I'm going to have to do but anyway. So there's our black and white layer. Now I know it looks funny now but we'll come back and fix it. So just leave it and now we're going to add a light layer. You can use your curves or you can use your layer levels. And I'm going to use my levels because I prefer levels. You can use whatever method you want. Now I'm going to play with my shadows a little bit because I want to just bring back some depth. And then I want to kind of blow out my highlights a little bit because snow is really white and we want to bring in that we want to bring in that white. So blow out the highlights a little bit. I don't think I'm really going to play with the midtones too much because photo doesn't need to be any more bright than it's already going to be. And we can always come back and adjust it. So for right now, I'm going to leave it like that. Now you want to go back to your black and white layer here and make sure your mask is selected. Well, you know what, first let's, let's lower our opacity. You want to bring down the opacity. You're not going to leave it that white. As you can see, you can see all it does is desaturate the photo. And you can see the background. And I'm going to leave it, I think, at like 85 for right now. And remember, we can always come back and change that. Maybe even like 80. We'll put it at 80 and then come back and do adjustments. So with your layer mask selected, you need to go in and erase this off your subject and whatever else you don't want it on. Now I probably shouldn't use this big of a brush, but if I sit here and I tediously mask this, we'll be here all day, huh? Because of course my kids would have on all the colors that blend into the background. But this photo just seemed to suit the wintry scene. So maybe take this in a little bit and get in all these edges. Now this is going to be the only time you're really going to have to do all this masking. I'm going to show you how to save yourself time with the rest of the layers because obviously you're mostly just want to edit the background for the most part. We'll do some other editing to the entire photo but make sure we get the tops of their hats. Oh I hate masking. I think Photoshop should come up with a better way for masking faster. Hmm. Get the top of his hat here. I don't think I really missed anything. Um, maybe his sleeve right here. Should be red. Whoops! See? Always gotta mess something up. And that wasn't even on purpose. Okay. So we definitely don't want any of this green showing, so you want to go back in and cover up anything green that you see sticking out. We don't want any green. And it should just pretty much look like snow. Whatever you whatever you make black and white. Because, well, goodness, helps if I have the right color. Okay. So that's pretty good. For the sake of this video, that's pretty good. I think you guys get the point that obviously you should take your time and mask it best that you can. But there we go. And I do see a little spot over here. Okay. That's better. Okay. So now, so we don't have to do that to every layer. Go up to your lighten layer here and just right click and add a clipping mask. There you go. So now it's only going to be added to this layer, which means 
the layer mask will also apply to that layer. So what we're going to do next, we are going to go in here and we are going to add, I'm trying to think, I feel like we're missing something. Are we missing something? No, maybe not. Okay. So next we're going to go in and make the photo look a little bit cooler because obviously they're a little warm and they don't totally blend into the background. So this next layer is going to be applied to the entire photo. Now you can, you know, you can just go into like your color balance here and your midtones. You can just bring them down. And here we want to add some cyan and then I also want to add just a little bit of blue. Remember, I like numbers to match, so you can play around with yours. But in the highlights, I think I'm also, I think I'm going to add a little bit of red to the highlights. Just kind of, just kind of like play with your sliders. I don't know if I, hmm, maybe we should stick to cyan, huh? And then add a little bit of blue also. Just a little bit. Everything is all in moderation, everybody. So you can see how it looks cooler that way. I think I'm also going to go in and play with the levels a little bit. Um, I'm going to put the mid-tones and add just a little bit of cyan that way. And maybe no, I'm going to move it. I'm going to go play with the blue channel and add I think just a little bit of yellow. I think it needs a little bit of yellow. Maybe not that much, but a little bit of yellow. Okay. And some blue in the shadows. Just a little bit. And I think that's pretty much good right there. Now I think I'm going to erase the levels off of their face because I don't want to make their skin look too cool. I don't want them to look pasty. I think I'm going to erase all the coolness off their skin. So you can go into the back into your cool layers, your colored layers that you added, and just erase it off your subject's skin. You don't have to, but I don't want them to look. They're so pale that they'll look sick if I. <laughs> leave them so blue. So let's see. That's pretty good. So as you can see, we have pretty much already translated this photo pretty well. So if I hit Control Alt A, that's going to select all my layers. Control G, put it in a group. So you can see the before and the after. And does that look like a wintry scene? Yes, it does. Now, all we need to do is add our snowflake overlay and just drop and drag, fit it onto your photo here. Then you want to go up into the blending mode and set it to screen. Obviously that doesn't look totally natural, so you want to blur it a little bit. So go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and that looks pretty good to me. Maybe a little bit more blurry. Maybe we'll add it a little bit more blurry. And then we'll drop the opacity of this layer here. Um, and then we'll add it again. I'm going to add the overlay twice. Just for kicks. Make it a little bit more dramatic. Set it to screen. You want to add a blur to this also. Gaussian blur, but we're going to make it a lot less blurry. Like that. Lower the opacity just a little bit. And then we're going to erase this layer. Add a layer mask down here. And erase it off of your subject's face just a little bit. Lower the opacity of your brush. That way there's just not all of that snow on your subjects. We want to erase it a little bit off of all the subjects here. Or off of all of our subject and not just their face. I'm going to add a layer mask to this one too, I think. Just erase it off a little bit, just so it's not so much snow that it kind of 
totally covers up your subject there. Okay, so go back up to, you know, just kind of play with it. I'm going to go back up to my top snow layer and bring my brush all the way back up to 100% and erase that off their face. Okay, so there you have it. You can open up your group here, add your layers in. You don't even need a group. This is just for me to show you the before and the after. So here is the before. Here is the after. So easy. It took us like, what, 10 minutes maybe? And it's so much fun. And just have, just play around with it and, you know, make it, customize it to your taste. If you want it cooler, if you want it warmer, if you want more snow, if you want less snow, however you want it to be. You know what, actually, I'm going to show you one more trick before I, before I turn off here. Now, if you wanted more color in the background, you can duplicate your layer here. I'm going to show you how to bring some color back. Duplicate. Just hit OK. Bring it up, like right above your levels here. Okay? And you can change the opacity to soft light. Bring, I mean, change the blending mode to soft light, sorry. Bring the opacity down. And see if it's higher it brings back a lot of color and you can bring it down to like 20 percent and then you can also right click add a clipping mask so that way it doesn't affect your subjects it only affects your background so you can see that it adds a little bit of more color and depth to the background so it looks more like your actual background like you can see the trees through the snow you know what i'm saying so it's not just a desaturated background so that's one trick that you can do if you wanted to bring back a little bit of more color. And I kind of like it, so I think I'm going to leave it like that. And you could, could probably leave this on normal blending mode also, maybe. I don't know. We'll put it on normal and see what it looks like. Yeah, I guess you can and just de, just um, bring down the opacity more. But I kind of like it on blending mode because I, I like the depth of it. I like depth. I, I like it to be deeper and darker. So there you go. And that is, it was so easy to do. So there you go. To make your photos more wintry, the before and the after, it was just like it was taken during a snowstorm. So I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you have any more tutorials you want to see, please let me know. And thank you all. And until next time, bye.